Well, I wanted to tell you something. Yeah. Okay. What you want to? Okay. What What do you want to tell me? Uh, about what you told me the last time I came to your house. Oh. I thought about it, and I'm like, why not? <laughs> so does that mean we are we are now together? Yeah, we're together. Okay. Don't you like that? Yeah, of course I love it. I I, I love it. <sighs> Thanks. I hope you know that I own you. You are mine. You are mine forever. I own you. I own you. You are mine. Inside. I don't lose appetite Cause you know they're my side Lost in between your thighs I wanna give you life All of it feels just right Healing energy where you give me Baby, all I really need now one thing Healing energy where you give me Baby, make you make a wish for me She don't let her do this way I see And I don't wanna speak of it and I could give you love closely even if I don't think of it hey I'm all up for the vida it is me yes condite hey I'm all up for the vida it is me yes condite Sorry. Hey. I'm so sorry for coming late. No, it's fine. It's worth the wait. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. You look so good. Oh my god, you are the beautiful one here. Thank you. You too. You look good. Thank you. So, what do you think about this place? Well, it's cool. It's okay. Okay. So, um, you know, I don't know if this is what you like, but for I now, like it, yeah. you know, before now, I never thought I could come to places like this. Just because you were broke then. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Um, and besides, I always thought I would, you know, I'm one kind of introvert person, somebody that would not love to go out. Well, now that you have what it takes, you can, nothing, you cannot go around places like this. Actually, as a man, it's really important that you have, you know, enough money to be able to go wherever you feel like. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, shall we have the food? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What do you think? Oh. Mm. Shall we? Sure. Sure. When I held you again, how could we ever just be friends? 
I would rather die than let you go. Juliet to your Romeo. I heard you say I would never fall in love again until I found her. I said I would never fall in love. Woo! <laughs> Very you did that. No, I did that. It's one of the things I love to do. For real? Yes, now. I really had fun. Me too. How are you? I'm fine. Um, you know, I really blessed the day. The day that you decided to leave your house to visit your sister. Otherwise, we wouldn't have met. This moment right now will not be happening. Imagine you just, you didn't make up your mind to visit your sister that day. Well, I'll say that day was planned. <laughs> you know this thing they say, um, like, all things happen for a reason. Do you believe it? Yeah. I also believe in destiny. Star, why you're looking so beautiful. <laughs> Maybe. Let's just do it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You want to move fame, you just follow me. Where will you be when I need your time? <sighs> Sorry, I don't think I want to do this. I'm sorry. I thought we were on the same page. I, I thought you wanted it. I'm sorry if I'm being too forward. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this or I don't like you. It's just that. I um. I just haven't done it before. What do you mean? Are you trying to say you've never had sex before? Because I might think that's impossible for your age and for our generation. There's nobody, almost nobody of your age who has never had sex before. It just happened that I haven't. And that's one of the reasons why I've not really been in a relationship. Because any guy that comes around is always never patient to wait for me till I'm ready. Are you serious? Yes. I'm so sorry, I, I should have told you. It's fine, it's fine. You don't have to be sorry. It's not your fault. Listen, I'm not other guys. I'm not with you because I have to have sex with you. Although we definitely need to have sex too. But I can wait. I can be patient with you until you're ready. You don't have to have sex with me right now. We can do it whenever you're ready. I, 
he serious? Um, serious? Does he look serious? Is he looking serious enough? Do you make? Do you need me to sign a form or make an agreement? Or? I'm just surprised. Why would you be surprised? You know what? You are worth the wait. Show me if you're ready tonight. Not the type of guy to be wasting your time. Yeah, just don't keep me waiting for life. I'm sorry for the time I didn't get you. Show me if you're ready tonight. Not the type of guy to be wasting your time. Yeah, just don't keep me waiting for life. I'm sorry for the time I didn't get you. Tell me what you feel inside. There's no need to be wasting time. Tell me what you feel inside. There's no need to be wasting time Tell me what you feel inside Only you know what you did to me Nobody know what you did to me Show that you ain't make us tell me wrong You fell on me wrong With a little of me wrong I'm loving, I'm loving you Yeah, nobody can stop me I'm loving your body I yeah, see the melanin popping You're loving, so toss it I saw body touching Your body is body Just see everything, they flourish Hold you down, make I treat you Oh, you don't make you take your chance, baby. Take your chance, made it in no cast, baby. Once a player, but forget my past, baby. Tell me what you feel inside. There's no need to be wasting time. Tell me what you feel inside. Tell me what you feel inside. There's no need to be Hello, Zinia. How are you? I'm fine. Um, are you around? Oh no, I'm just around your area. I just wanted to come and say hello, so that's why I'm asking if you're around. Oh, you are. Uh, all right. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Shining baby, <laughs> see the way you're shiny. You're mm -hmm. always shiny. Can't you just take a break for one day? <laughs> uh -uh. What's up now? Fine. Few nails. Oh. So fine. Okay, sniff at you. Hmm. This one you remember me today. Oh, I was just you know around the area and I decided to say hello. Hmm. Why did you start saying hello to me? Ah, uh -uh, come on. Why you know my sister again? Well, I'm happy to see you. <laughs> How's everything now? Everything is fine, you? Mm. Okay, I'm just there. Hmm. Yeah, just there. Glowing. <laughs> just tell me, what's the secret? Are you seeing somebody? Are you dating? <laughs> Come on, sis. Don't pretend. I see your likes on all my posts. Like, you don't know I'm dating your friend. Ah, I know, I just wanted to confirm. Hmm, you wanted to confirm. <laughs> okay. Uh, but come to think of it. What does Bayo really have to offer? I mean, that boy is lazy. He doesn't have a future. He's always living a fake life. I mean, what do you really see in him? Well, things have changed. He's no longer the Bayo you used to know. Really? Mm. He's doing well for himself now. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Huh. Bayo is my friend. Though. I know him very, 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 very well. That boy. That boy, him and fake life like this, five or six, can never live fake life. That boy. Nothing can never be good for that boy. That boy, they have to swear for him. Uh-uh, sis. That's my man you're talking about. Calm down. You see that bio? Wherever it is that he is staying now, eh? I am sure, I am very, very sure that it's somebody's house. He's just faking it. That boy doesn't have anything good. That boy doesn't even have a good head on his head. 
That boy, nothing, nothing good can ever come to that boy. I'm telling you. Well, you're wrong. Because he's better now. He's doing very well for himself. Let me give you the hint. You remember the day we were supposed to go to Uncle Zion's house when he came from the US? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that day when I got there, he complained to me that he wanted a supplier. Somebody that will be supplying him material goods like provisions and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. And I connected Bio with him. And Bio is working for him now. So you're saying everything that Bio has achieved is actually his and he got it through our Uncle Zion. Yeah, right. Our uncle, Uncle Zion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's I'm really happy for you guys. You should be happy for your friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not been easy. He really tried, he suffered, yeah. and finally. Hey. Hey, but I, how come I wasn't aware of all this? We're supposed to go together, remember? Oh, yeah, I had an appointment. Yeah, yeah. and when Uncle Zion brought it up, immediately I remembered by him. Of course. Yeah. Oh, my little sister. So thoughtful of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for him. Yeah. He's actually a very nice person. He is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what do you like to eat? Uh, no. No, I know. I must take my leave. I have somewhere else I have to be. No, 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 no. I'm going to get you something to eat, okay? Let me make your favorite. I think I even have soup in the fridge. I'll just microwave it. Uh, thank you. All right. <clears throat> Give me a sec. Shine, shine, baby. <laughs> Won't you tell me to come in? No, I won't tell you to come in because I didn't invite you. I don't understand why you will come here uninvited. I didn't ask you to come. How will you come here without calling me? What do you want? Are you? Are you talking to me? Okay. Me? <laughs> you're telling me I came to your house uninvited. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> but I can still remember. A lot of times you came to my place uninvited, even after I gave you warnings, severally, not to come anywhere around my house. <laughs> but you still did so. In fact, you were literally living in my house without my permission. And you're still alive. I didn't kill you. And as ungrateful as you are, <laughs> you're asking me why I came to your house uninvited, really. Um, bless you. Let me stop you there. This so-called little wealth of yours that you achieved, don't forget it's my uncle that made you who you are today. My uncle. If not, you wouldn't even have this little apartment. You'd definitely still be squatting in my house. All right, blessing. I understand that you've helped me a lot. Thanks to you, I am doing well in life. I'm grateful. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. So what do you want? You better not forget that. You better be grateful. I am, so what do you want? Blessing, what do you want? I remember I clearly told you that you can't have anything to do with my sister. You know that's not possible, right? Of course that's not possible, Blessing. Because we are together already. Animal, are you sick upstairs? My sister, my own sister, of all the girls in this whole wide world, my sister. So, blessing, what's your business with my relationship with your sister? I mean, move on, go on, live your life, leave us out of your life. Why do you want to, you know, why are you coming in? I should move on with my life. Yeah, you telling me to move on with my life. <laughs> I moved on with my life. You came into my life, you crushed my relationship. And now you think you want to, you want to, you want to, I will allow you to go out with my sister. How? I mean, 
mean of all the girls in this whole wide world, why can't you just go after somebody else, another girl? Why, why does it have to be my sister? Now I'll tell you why. Um, listen, your sister liked me, <laughs> even knowing that I had nothing. I've never seen a girl in this generation that will like you, knowing fully well that you have nothing. And you can relate to that because you left me when I had nothing. And I was living in your house. Your uncle needed an assistant for a job. You knew I could fit in that job, but you never, you never, you never recommended me. But guess who did? Your sister. Your sister paved way for me. Your sister is my helper. And I like her. We fell in love. So tell me, what's, what's, why are you being a pain in the ass right now? What's your business? What's your problem? You. You are my problem. You are the actual pain in the ass. Bio, you're so ungrateful. You are an ungrateful bastard. That's who you are. I kept you in my house. I accommodated you. I fed you. And then you're, you're spilling all this rubbish. Tell me all this nonsense. Yes, we are over that already. You fed me, you accommodated me, you did a whole lot of things. In fact, you were a god in my life. I appreciated that. But now, I need you out of the life. If you think that I'm going to stand here and watch you have anything to do with my sister, you lie. And I will. <laughs> I cannot leave your sister. It is over my dead body that you have anything to do with her. And what if I don't? I'll testify for you. I'll do that three, four times again. I'll testify for you. I told that like kill that bitch, I do it. All of them around you scared to do. I am not long as you're joking, not here for me. I got it. My been scheming, looting. Hide your body as long as you're dreaming about me. Ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. Tell the truth, I look better under you. I can't lose. When I'm with you, how can I lose? I miss the moment. You're just too important. Nobody do body like you do. I can't lose. When I'm with you, I can't just lose. I miss the moment. You're just too important. Nobody do body like you do. You do. <sighs> What's the time? Well, it's pretty late and I need to leave now. Yeah, it's very late. You need to leave. I'll see you off. Things off with my sister. My sister can't offer you what I have to offer you. She can't satisfy you the way I do. And I know you know that. Blessing, you really need to go. Fine. I will. I just think about it. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were the one. Okay, we brought you something. Come here, son. I made you something very delicious. <clears throat> then oh. we get plate and spoon. Okay.
Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, babe. Babe, come on. I'm serving the food already. I'm coming. Oh, wow. Here you go. What's going on? You made this? Yeah. Wow. You know, I've always wanted to try your food. You like it? Mm. Do you actually make this? Yes. It's giving a restaurant kind of vibe. You know, it's expensive restaurant food. Trust me, I made it. Mm. Wow. You like it, right? Love it. Thank you. Can I ask you though? How can you be this complete? <laughs> so beautiful, knows how to cook, get home training, housewife material. Thank you. Maybe you should just marry me already. Actually, I might. I mean, I will. I can. No promises. <laughs> mm. So what have you been doing? Mm -hmm. Been hoping you'd come with rice and stew. <laughs> Are you serious? So you haven't had anything since morning? Actually, this is dream come true. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, I'm okay. I had some at home. Okay. I'm glad you like it. Mm. 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 So let me get you water, okay? Thank you. Hello. What? How? Where? When? Oh my god. I'm coming right now. I'm on my way. Yes. I'm coming. Oh my god, I can't believe you went through all of that. So you mean the call and the text, you did not send me those texts? Babe, I, I did not send you any of those texts. The guy actually forced me to call you and break up with you. It's never my intention to do that. <sighs> I don't know what is, what is wrong with that psychopath. I really don't understand it. But I'm so glad you managed to escape. Ah, babe, that guy is really crazy. That guy keeps saying I'm starving his Rottweiler. That I'm making his Rottweiler go hungry. I don't even understand what he meant by that. But thank God for everything. I was able to escape and I called the police. And according to the information I got, they said he has been arrested. Really? Yes. Ah, that is really great news. I'm so glad that he has been arrested. Yeah, thank God for that. Mm. I just don't know how you got to know someone like that, babe. Because that guy is... That guy can do anything just, just to have you. He's my friend, though. He's just my friend, though. I don't think it will happen between us. I don't even know why he would think of going this far to the extent of kidnapping you. That's, that's crazy. But you know what, babe? I'm never going to break up with you. You promise? I promise you. We're in this together, okay? Come here. I love you. I love you too. You'll never break up with me. Never. You promise? I, I promise. Even if you're being kidnapped? Babe, let's not talk about kidnapping. I went through hell in the hands of that guy. I wouldn't want that to happen again, but... Trust me, 
It's you or no one else. Okay. I love you, my princess. Mm. Baby Tani go vel at uza kweno She no no say one day man go blow Life na one by one or two by two Paddy no worry your time go show I like it double your hustle No time for ngati ngati I like it double your hustle No time for ngati ngati Hello, what's up? You're looking good. What are you doing? Okay. Well, I just, I just came back from um, just chilling outside. I'm so bored. All right, it's fine. Tomorrow is fine. I can wait for you a day. Alright. Bye, baby. Alright, see you. I'm on my knees when I'm begging Cause I don't wanna lose you Yeah, yeah ra da 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 Cause I'm begging, begging you So put your loving head down, baby I'm begging, begging you So put your loving head down, darling I need you to understand Try so hard to be a man that kind of man you want to be Only they cannot begin to live again An empty shell I used to be So put your loving head down, baby I'm begging, begging you So put your loving head down, darling I need you to understand Try so hard to be a man that kind of man you want in the end Only they cannot begin to live
So we started trekking. We're trekking down. What if I told you that we trek all the way from Lagos Island to Ikorodu? Only for us to go and do a job that they'll pay us 3,000 naira. Now we have to trek back because we are not supposed to spend that 3,000. That 3,000 is for another BC. I was already owing people in the area. No be small so far. See now, let me now tell you about when I was doing car wash. I was washing car for people. You did car wash? Are you kidding me? You know what's worse about car wash? The owner of the car might come one day and say something is missing from the car. Something you never stole. It's wow. so risky. That's... Now let me now tell you the worst part of it. Have you seen a musician sing his own song and put it in a disc and start hawking it, start selling it? Oh my god. Worst part oh my god, are you serious? I'm serious. It's that bad. Uh, this is something that I, <laughs> this was. Sorry. Okay. Hello? Hello, Zenia. Yeah, sis. What's up? I'm fine. Can you come to my place? We need to talk. Are you okay? I'm fine. Is it that urgent? Can't I come tomorrow? No. It has to be today. I have something really important that I need to tell you. Okay, okay, okay. Just calm down. I'm coming, okay? Alright, please. I'm waiting for you. Okay, I'm coming. Alright, I'll be there in an hour. Okay. What's going on? It's my sister. She said I should come to her place right now. Like right now? Yes. Is she fine? She has never called me for an emergency before, so I'm surprised. I think I have to go. Right now? Yeah. Come on, babe. We're in the middle of a conversation. You won't understand. My sister can't just call me out of the blue to come to her house, like, immediately. It must be something serious. She she has something to tell me, and it's very serious. Like, it's very important. Uh, I see you, okay? Hi. Sis, what's the urgency? You called me, you said you wanted to tell me something. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Um, I do want to tell you something very important. Okay. You're not supposed to date Bayo. <laughs> I'm not supposed to date somebody I'm already dating. You need to break things off with him. Oh, I see. So this is the reason why you've been telling me Bio is lazy, he's good for nothing, he doesn't have anything to offer. Why do you hate him so much? Zinni, I don't hate him. He's just not good enough for you. It's obvious you hate this guy. I've seen you broke shame this guy. I've seen you treat him with so much hatred. So what's going to make me believe you're trying to stand up for me? Fine. I'll tell you the truth. Okay. Bye and I... Um, I mean, um, I and Bio, we, um, We what? Bio is my ex. What? I can't believe you go to this extent to frame this guy. Uh, Why 
would you hate him this much? What has he done to you? Xenia, I do not hate him. He really is my ex. All those while that he was here with me, we still had sex. You know what? I'm done with your lies. I know how much you hate this guy. I know you, he disgusts you, whatever. I don't know whatever you people must have had in the past. I, I'm done. I'm done. Zinia, wait. I have proof. Whatever we did wasn't in the past because it is still happening. Just wait. I have proof. I can show you. See for yourself. to hurt you i'm sorry <laughs> I, I just i just i zinia zinia we zinia zin zinia because you are you are the reason why i'm still hanging on and you are you are the reason why my head is still above water